Hey guys, um, something new for you today that I want, I've been wanting to try on the channel for a while. And that's the AeroPress. Now we have family members who use this to make their coffee and they swear by it. They say it's really, really good. Um, I got it from Amazon. It was £35. So it's not expensive. A good coffee gift perhaps. Um, and basically the principle is you can make an American style coffee something similar to an espresso as well but not really because it's not pump pressure is it you plunge it down like you would a cafetiere but the grind of the coffee you use is a bit finer than that and um, so it's more like an espresso style grind so i've had to go to the local coffee shop and um, you can get subscriptions online for different types of coffee for aeropress specifically and um, but they kindly grinded down some guatemalan coffee for me and um, as we can see there it says aero um, hopefully to the right grind. But this is the first time I've used one of these, but it's going to be quite interesting to try. So just to talk you through a little bit why the AeroPress is, like it says, better than a coffee press. It says that it's smoother and richer flavour, and then without the bitterness. Um, and that's to do with the way it's extracted and the technology that's in the little device. Um, it's got one ninth the acidity of a French press, makes American coffee, espresso style or cold brew, Said it'll be ready in a minute. Um, that's you just put a scoop of coffee in, um, stir it, and then use the plunger for about 20 to 40 seconds, and it should come out nice. Um, it says there's no grit, um, and the clean up takes seconds afterwards. It should be quite easy to clean. Um, it's shatterproof, so it's durable, compact, and lightweight. So you can take it around with you. You can use it at home or take it to work or on the move. But I do know they. I think they do a travel version. And there's also a more recent version, which is more expensive, but this is the classic original AeroPress original, it's called. The technology that it uses, it says, uh, how do we do it? It says the AeroPress original uses a breakthrough patented technology that allows for a shorter brew time, leading to no bitterness and less acidity, which gives you the most delicious cup of coffee that you have ever tasted. Our filter ensures that there is no grit in your cup. Um, and it does come with some filters. I'm hoping it comes with a scoop because I don't have one. But let's have a look on the side here. It seems to come with a scoop. You just pour boiling water in, give it a stir, as we said, plunge it, and you should have a nice coffee. And these are the different types of coffee that it will do. Also, the plastic is BPA free. Last thing to point out is that it's made in the USA. So we've detached a little sticker then just to allow it to open up. Oh, what's over this side there? It's just got caught there. Have a quick look inside just so you can see how it's packaged just in case you need to ever repackage it for sale let's take it out then so as we can see we've got a scoop the manual it's very basic isn't it but it that's why people love it so much the simplicity of it we've got our filters there so the filter just sits inside the little screw cap and you screw that onto the bottom put the coffee in the top and then stir it with your stirrer um, but we're going to give that a go now anyway and try it with our Guatemalan coffee that's been specially grinded for the AeroPress. So we've got all the pieces out ready to go. I thought this was a good thing. You can scan the QR code on there and that'll take you to a quick start guide. They do a little video on it. Um, so I'm just going to follow that myself. Um, it should take about a minute to get going. So we've got our, all our pieces set up ready to go. We've got some hot water. I just thought I'd show you the little guide that comes with it. Um, it shows you you can cold brew as well in there, so that's quite interesting. But it says to push the plunger out of the chamber um, from the inside, so we'll do that now. So it's got a little rubber seal on the bottom, look. Push from the inside and pull that out. Then it says to pop the filter inside of the filter cap. So this is the filter cap here. I'm going to pop a little filter in there. Then it says to twist the filter cap onto the chamber. So we can do that here, nice and easy so far, living up. Um, stand the chamber on a sturdy mug. So I've gone for this, uh, these are the Nespresso Virtual mug set, aren't they? And I thought it's got a nice wide base. Um, it then says to put one rounded scoop of fine drip grind coffee in the chamber. Now I've been told that a good grind is um, somewhere close to espresso, so kind of super fine but maybe edging more, a bit towards cafetiere coffee or filter style coffee as well, but we don't want it um, as coarse as that. You want it a bit finer, finer, a bit more like espresso. And so that's what I asked for. The lady at the shop actually had an AeroPress. So I'm hoping that this is the right kind of grind, but let's get a scoop of that. It says get a rounded scoop. So I've got one rounded scoop of coffee. Just pop that in. It then says to shake it to level the coffee. So we'll do that, we'll give it a little shake. Well, I'll deck it out and give it a proper shake. Then it says add water up to the number two 
mark on the chamber. Um, so there's the number two mark on the side there. So we've got to pour water in up to that level. It's, I did read up about this. It says it's usual for a little bit to drip through like that. So that's nothing to worry about. And it just says to stir it inside for about 10 seconds. So we'll do that with the stirrer. I think that's about enough. Then it says insert the plunger and press gently pausing when you feel resistance until the plunger reaches the ground. So I'll pop this in, press until I feel resistance. It's a little bit stiff, I've got to say, but it's not too bad. Still dripping. Bear in mind, this is the first time we've done this, so it's a new process for us. It's nearly at the bottom. Look, if you see, it's got down to the number one mark. I'd say that's about 40 seconds as well, isn't it? And there's no more water coming through. And then it says to make it an American style coffee, you would then add more hot water or that's kind of espresso style. So you can drink it like that. So, yeah, let's have a little taste of that then. The blackberry notes and stuff coming through from the Guatemalan coffee is very nice. It's not a strong coffee either. Um, it said it's a, a three on acidity, a four on sweetness and a four on body. And um, obviously you'd like it to be bigger than that. So what it's like, I'll, I'll add some water in a minute and see what it tastes like there. But at the minute, that's quite a light roasted coffee. It's not a dark roast. If you wanted something stronger, you could use a different type of coffee, whatever suits your taste. Um, but for me, when I'm drinking a coffee black, I actually quite like to get those nice acidic notes coming through. But it's right, it's not overly bitter. It's just a very nice, very nice coffee. I will add a little bit more water, but like I say, because I've gone for a not hugely intense coffee, it might make it a bit weak, really. So I think I would have to go for a stronger one myself for this, but let's give it a taste. Yeah, that has dulled the flavour down a little bit, but actually not too much. Um, and you still get the flavour notes coming through. You still get that blackberry coming through there. Um, so it's still it's still very nice, really, even though I've added water. On this occasion, I'm not going to add milk um, because I do think that, that because it's such a light and delicate coffee, it's probably not worth adding milk to that one. Uh, the next step, by the way, would just be to pop the plunger right the way through to remove the cap, take the filter away, and then pop the coffee puck out. Then you'll just rinse that off remove it and you're ready to go and make another coffee really and um, it tastes so fresh it does taste very vibrant not too bitter not too acidic everything it says it should do really and um, so it's all going to be about the quality of the coffee you buy the aeropress itself like i say was 35 pounds and um, it's available in most countries i think but i'll link to it in the description i'll put an amazon link down there so that if you want to buy it um you can do um and yeah i hope you've enjoyed the demonstration thanks for watching and bye for now